Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and how to program in the 2GIG Key2E-345 encrypted four button key fob. Super easy to do here. What we're gonna do first is go into security. Once you hit security, go ahead and hit menu. Once you're in menu, you're gonna go into toolbox. In toolbox, it's gonna prompt you for your installer code. Uh, mine is the factory installer code of 1561. Yours could be different, but this is a factory panel, so I'm going to hit the right arrow twice now. At this point, I want to go into Installer Toolbox. Once in Installer Toolbox, you're going to go ahead and click on System Configuration. It's going to come up with Q1, Select RF Sensor. This doesn't program in like that, so you're going to go ahead and hit Skip. Then it's going to say Select Wired Sensor for Question 2. We don't want to do that either, so go ahead and hit Skip. Now finally, Question 3 will say Select Fob Number. This is the first key fob. If this is your second or third, you would just press the right arrow until you get to whichever one it is. Uh, you have up to eight that you can use. In this case, this is my first one, so I'm gonna leave it on one. I'm gonna hit the down arrow. It's gonna ask you if this device is in, uh, enabled or disabled. In this case, I wanna enable it by pressing the right arrow. Then hit down. Now, because this is an E-Series sensor, it is gonna start off with a two for its equipment code. So for this one, it's 2866. That is an E-Series key fob. That is the equipment code for this, 2866, once again. After you've entered that, and you see that it says E-Series key fob, press the down arrow. Now at this point, it wants us to learn the device in. So you can manually put the serial number in, the TXID, but I'm not gonna do that. Here, we're gonna go ahead and hit Shift, then we're gonna hit Learn. When it says learn, you're going to go ahead and press buttons on the key fob, and it should transmit an RF signal. I believe it actually might be the, let's see here. Okay, I pushed the unlock and the tamper, or the uh, panic button at the same time, and it learned it in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my TXID and make sure that it's correct here, 0202234. That did learn my key fob in. Hit OK. Once you've confirmed that your serial number's in there, press the down arrow. It's going to ask you if the equipment age is new or existing. This is a new key fob, so I'm going to leave it new. It's going to ask if you want to enable the emergency key, and it asks you how you want to enable it. Um, you can enable it as a audible alarm, a silent panic alarm, or a fire, or a medical alarm. So it's completely up to you. In this case, I'm going to make it an audible alarm, so that way I can audibly trigger the alarm whenever I'd like for a burglary. Then I'm going to hit the down arrow. It's going to ask if this fob can disarm or not. That is going to either enable or disable this little unlock button right here. So we want it enabled because we want to be able to disarm our system. Then it's also going to ask you for the voice descriptor on this. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at key fob one, but you can change it to whatever you'd like. Hit the down arrow at this point. It wants to know if there's no delay on the arming. I'm going to go ahead and leave that disabled. At this point, it has been programmed into the panel, so I'm going to hit the skip button because I don't have any more sensors that I want to add, and I don't want to adjust any of the settings that I already have on this one. So hit skip, then you're going to hit end, and then it's going to have a little check mark at the bottom that says save changes. Now if you made a mistake and you don't want to save this, uncheck that, but I do want to save it, so I'm going to leave it checked and then I'm going to hit exit. At this point, it will go through a panel reboot, so we're going to let it go through its reboot here. Okay, and as you can see, we now have our touch screen back. We're gonna go ahead and test this thing out by arming it in stay mode. Okay. We'll go ahead and we'll disarm it now. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we'll arm it in away mode. Okay, the audible exit delay for arming away. Now we'll go ahead and we'll disarm it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you program in the Key2E-345 into the 2GIG GC2E security system. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video 
where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.